we appreciate you being where you're at. Um, the first responsibility of government is protecting its people. As we, as elected by the people, and you're elected by the people, we, we got that. When you say there's a new sheriff in town, we relate to that. You're about the rule of law. We haven't seen that in many years. President Trump meeting with sheriffs from across the country to talk about restoring law and order and keeping our country safe. Sheriff Sam Page of Rockingham County, North Carolina, was there and talked to the president, and he joins us now to discuss what happened there at the White House. Good morning to you, Sheriff. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us what you talked about with the president. Well, the, uh, we had the opportunity to talk with the president about some general law enforcement concerns, everything from uh, concerns about uh, the heroin epidemic and how uh, a lot of our heroin has come through our southern border and the importance of slowing or stemming that flow. Uh, we talked about supporting one another, uh, partnerships between federal, state, and local law enforcement. Had some just general discussion, but, but I got to actually meet the new sheriff in town, and that's President Trump. Well, he was in good company. There were 12 of you selected from the National <laughs> Sheriff's Association Executive Committee. You were there for... Uh, a meeting in Washington or meetings this week, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But Thank I want to get to sanctuary cities. I know you're in North Carolina, not a sanctuary state or city, but some of these, like look at California, they want to become a sanctuary state. What's your opinion, and did you talk to the president about that? Uh, I did not personally uh, bring it, bring up the uh, the conversation, but I think with the sanctuary uh, sanctuary state or the sanctuary city situation, basically what it is you encourage persons to come to those areas that are involved in illegal activity and persons that are in our country illegally. It, it's kind of a magnet. How hard is it for your fellow sheriffs that do live in areas that are sanctuary cities? How hard is it for them to enforce law enforcement in those areas? Well, uh, again, you know, a lot of times it's your, your elected officials, your mayors, your, your t town councils uh, that go in and enact these sanctuary policies. And, and, and what it does, it prohibits law enforcement from cooperating with, uh, with our federal partners. Uh, not only being that a violation of, of the federal code, uh, it, it, it does hamper us. You know, we in North Carolina, you know, we work with all of our state, local, and federal partners through our task force and been doing it for many years. So, again, uh, I would encourage that cooperation, but I think it really hampers their ability to do their job. I know that uh, DHS Secretary John Kelly is speaking to your group. Rob O'Neill is speaking to your group. Is the president talking to you as well, to your whole group? <laughs> Uh, uh, yes, uh, he, he ha I understand he will be addressing uh, sheriffs from across the country, to, uh, I think, today. And again, it's a great honor. This is something that we haven't seen in the past eight years in the former administration, but we now have the opportunity to engage the president. And, and again, like I said, we're just all excited because uh, we're seeing something now we haven't seen in a long time, support, and we need that. All right, Sheriff Sam Page, thanks for joining us this morning. Wish you all the best down there in Washington. Thank you. You're welcome.